Hi friends, I am Dr. Pratap Singh Rathod. I have done MDN for Science Medicine, and today we will discuss about identification from fingerprints. Dactylography, it is also known as dermatographics or Galter system, is a study of fingerprints as a method of identification. All over the world, fingerprint matching is accepted as the most reliable evidence of identification. This system was first used by Sir William Herschel in 1858, which was later systematized by Francis Galton in 1892. fingerprints are impressions of patterns formed by papillary or epidermal ridges of finger fingertips so every fingertip has papillary and epidermal ridges which forms a particular patterns the ridge pattern of fingers appear between 12 to 16 weeks of intervertebral life and the the formation is completed by 24 weeks the arrangement and distribution of patterns are unique to an individual and no two hands resemble each other the probability of two individuals having the same conventional fingerprint is also about 1 in 1 billion so fingerprints do not change throughout life unless damage has occurred to dermal skin layers it will be that is up to 1 to 2 mm of thickness skin is lost then only fingerprints will be damaged permanent impairment of fingerprint pattern occurs in case of leprosy electric injuries or any other exposure to radiations or also in case of burns the fingerprints get permanently this uh, impaired now coming to classification of fingerprint patterns depending of uh, depending upon arrangement of paper ridges fingerprints are classified into four major or primary types loops which consists of about 65% of population whorls about 25% of population arches 7% of population and composite Which come a consist of which is a compound is a mixed pattern of all the patterns is consist about two to three percent of population. Loops are usually begins on one side of the fingers and end on the same side. So as you can see in the image, so loops are starts with one end and ends with the other end. Like it is a loop. So if it begins from the ulnar side, is called as ulnar loop. If it is begins on the radial side, is called as radial loop. So there are two again sub types, radial and ulnar loops. Or else, this could be having multiple circular or oval ridges, one around the other. It may be single ridge or round in multiple rounds. Again, there are subtypes like concentric, spiral, double spiral, almond shaped. Concentric includes uh, one around the others, like uh, concentric rings. Spiral is like a spiral. Double spiral is double rings are present on the uh, present. Almond shape is shaped like an almond. So. Whorls are nothing but concentric or circular or whorl ridges. Coming to arches, these again have two type, three types: plain arches, tented arches, and exceptional, which doesn't in, comes as it doesn't include plain or tented arches. Plain arches is when it was it is a wave like from one side of finger to other side. So this is a wave like arch that is a plain arch. Tented arches are when the arch is sharp or spike like. So tented arches are usually like spikes. and they are prominent as a spikes up seen compared to plain arch they have more which are more like wave like composite it is a combination of more than one patterns either a combination of arch or and loop or two different patterns like twin or double two whorls or arch or loops so again there are different subtypes like center pocket loops lateral pocket loops twin loops accidentals so this is one peculiar type of composite where accidental loops where Wherein no specific ridge pattern is available. So this is a specific type where there is no specific pattern is present, but they are also included. Now coming to identification from fingerprints. The final identification of any fingerprint is made by comparison of many details of characteristics which occur throughout the ridge areas, and by the sequence in which these characteristics occurs, and but not by comparing the patterns. So pattern is not compared, but the characteristics of ridges are compared. the characteristics may take the form of ridge endings bifurcations lake formations or lat formation so any ridges they may form by they may bifurcate so one pattern may be bifurcate sometimes there may be ridge endings may present at one end so it, it the patterns will start here and starts again here like this may present or sometimes the ridges may bifurcate and again join or sometimes they may bifurcate and form a eye lines so one it is a bifurcation one ridge may bifurcate and accumulate one ridge inside for eye formation these are patterns are studied 
as a characteristics of ridge patterns and compared. In practice, 10 to 12 points of fine comparisons are accepted as proof of identity. The patterns are not inherited and paternity cannot be proved through fingerprint patterns. The pattern is again different even in identical twins. So genetic, the genetic makeup doesn't make up the fingerprints but as it is different in even in identical twins which who are identically same in as a genetic makeup. Now coming to recording of fingerprints. So before recording hands are washed, cleaned and dried to ensure clear prints. Print is taken using a printer sinks on an unglazed white paper. There are two methods of taking the prints, one is plain and roll impressions. Plain or dab impression is obtained by gentle pressing the ink surface of a tip of finger or paper. This is just touching the paper is plain print. Roll impression is taken by rolling the ink finger from side to side. So after pressing the finger, the finger is rolled from side to side to cause a roll impression. So this roll impression causes incre increases the more ridges and more pattern can be studied. In case of criminals, impression of all the 10 digits of both hands are taken. In dead bodies, if finger tips are dried by dried up or shriveled, prints can be taken by soaking the finger in alkaline solution like potassium hydroxide to obtain the fingerprints. The surface of the fingers can be rounded out and smoothed in case of death by injecting glycerin, melted paraffin or hot water to cause the finger to swell up. If the fingerprints are disappearable, that means it is cannot be identified, then the palmar screen of the terminal phalanx of each fingers can be incised, preserved in the formalin and sent to forensics laboratory for identification. In case of advanced putrefaction where the skin may be avulsed or in case of drowning, the skin may come out as a glove which can be preserved in formalin for development of fingerprints. Prints can be obtained from dermis if dermis is also lost. In certain cases, if dermis is lost, fingerprints can be obtained. If epidermis is lost, dermis from the fingerprints can be obtained from dermis up to depth of 0.6 mm from finger pads and faces. Now coming to types of evidential fingerprints. So what are types of fingerprints we obtain in a scene of crime? First is patent or visible prints. This, this need not snow, needs no processing and can be clearly recognized as fingerprints. It is often made by grease, dark oil, dirt or blood, rendering it visible and recognizable even suitable for comparison without additional processing. So they are caused by some ink material like oil or grease or blood and it, can, it is visible clearly and doesn't require any processing. Plastic prints, print is recognizable, fingerprint are initially soft surfaces. So these are fingerprints left on soft surfaces like butter, soap, cheese, paint, putty or tar. Such prints have distinct three dimensional characteristics immediately recognizable and require no further processing. So this is an example of a plastic print obtained on soap surface. Later prints are requires additional processing to be rendered visible and suitable for comparison. So these are the prints which doesn't, they are not visible clearly and require processing. Processing of latent prints to render them visible and suitable for comparison is called development, enhancement and visualization. So now developing of latent prints, latent prints are most prominent example of local principle which states that when two objects come into contact with each other, there is always some transfer of material from one to another. So when, when a person finger touches any surface, each finger leaves the print. Fingerprints may be taken from almost any surfaces with which the fingers comes in contact including certain fabrics and human skin. A latent print may be developed by dusting the area with colored powders to provide a contrast and its pattern is recorded by photography. The commonly used powders like grey powder like chalk or mercury but white powders like lead carbonate or French chalk are also used for as a dusting powders. Fingerprints on paper, wood, fabrics are developed by treating them with 5% silver nitrate solution or by vapors of iodine or sodium tetroxide, osmium tetroxide, sorry. Electron auto radiography method uses high energy beam of x rays to irradiate the lead dust on finger, name, finger marks. The scanning electron microscope visualizes the later fingerprints on metal or glass surfaces. And using continuous view work on the iron laser and observing through suitable filters, later fingerprints can also show luminescence. From using these methods like Electroradiography, electro microscope, even the 10 years old fingerprints can be developed. 
Now coming to computerization. Fingerprint traders or also called as finders is a computerized automatic fingerprint trading system which is which can record each fingerprint data in a half a second. Prints of eight fingers are recorded including excluding little fingers. The light reflected from fingerprint can be measured and converted to digital data which is classified, codified and stored in the computer. Nowadays this is used as a mark of identification and in India other card is used to record the fingerprints as mode of identification. Now coming to the importance of fingerprints, identification of criminals whose fingerprints were found at scene of crime can be used to identify the criminals, identification of fugitive through fingerprint comparison of any person who has escaped the law can be identified, identification of unknown deceased persons, persons suffering from amnesia, missing persons and conscious patients. So all the person who needs identified can be identified where as we know fingerprints can be recorded as been can be codified and stored in the computer. Identification in case of disasters like in earthquakes and fall of buildings or in case of uh, any floods, a person can be identified. Identification in case of accidental exchange of newborn infants can be done. Identification of licensing procedures for automobiles, firearms, aircrafts or is done by fingerprints. Problems of mistaken identity and detection of bank forgeries can be resolved by using fingerprints as mode of identification. Rough idea about the age of fingerprints can be made by studying the migration of chloride ions from the fingerprints. So, measuring the chloride ions, roughly the age of fingerprints can be also be obtained. Now, coming to a small subtopic of poroscopy, the ridges of finger ions hands are studied with microscopic pores formed by moths of ducts of subepidermal sub glands. So, each ridge has the openings of the microscopic openings of subepidermal sweat glands. So each millimeter of ridge contains about 9 to 18 pores. These pores numbers in 1000 per square centimeter. So if you take 1 square centimeter of the ridges, there may be about 1000 uh, microscopic pores of subepidermal sweat glands. So study of these pores is called as poroscopy. These pores are permanent and unchanged during the life and vary in size, shape, width, starting and stopping and occasion and branching on points and extent and number, distribution arrangements of these pores or the given ledger is each is each individual. So in each individual, the number of pores, their stopping, their numbers, distribution, arrangement in within the le given length of a fingerprint is specific for specific individuals. This method of examining pores is called as poroscopy and is used when only fragment of fingerprints are available. So this is a way of identification of person when only or fragment of fingerprint is available. These are my references. Thank you.